Hello, my name is Chad Williams, and I'm going to show you how to create a matrix of data and then save that as a CSV file. So let's start off by making a data matrix. So I'm going to go data underscore m equals matrix na 10 by 3. What this matrix function does is it's going to create a matrix of not a number um, with 10 rows and 3 columns. So I use NA here because I personally use it as a placeholder, so I know I need to populate these things with uh, different numbers, and then I'm going to do that now. So in another video, I showed you how to index different columns and rows. So here what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, well, the first column is going to use this function. So we're going to fill it with numbers from the run if function. And I'm going to use 10 numbers because we have 10 rows. And Again, if there's a blank space here, that means we have 10 rows that we're going to fill up because we have 10 rows here. But what it means is we're going to fill all the rows up. Um, so I'm going to use 10 rows. Now, in the past, I've used this runf function to just, by default, which um, gives us a number from 0 to 1. But here I'm going to go from 1 to 2. Sorry, 1, 2. So what that means is we're going to get numbers in between 1 and 2. And that's what we see here. All these numbers are within 1 and 2. And then what we're going to do is data m for column 2. We're going to do the same thing, but we're going to do, let's say, 1.5 to 2.5. Great. Then finally, I'm going to do the same again uh, for column 3, but we're going to go from 2 to 3. So what we get is these numbers are from 1 to 2, these numbers are from 1.5 to 2.5, and these numbers are from 2 to 3. Now, how do we save that? So we have a matrix here with all these numbers. I just want to save this as a CSV file. So it's very simple. We're going to use the function called write.csv, and it's going to want two things from us. First thing it wants is, well, what do you want to save? So we're going to point it to our variable data or underscore m. And then what do you want to save it as? So we're going to save it as sample underscore data dot csv. And if I run this, suddenly it saves as a csv. And you should be able to see that in the folder that you're currently in. And it'll be there and ready for you to load it.